Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are gonna be jumping into Lightroom's color grading panel. So this used to be called split toning in Lightroom and they changed it to color grading last year. It works exactly the same way, but it has got a whole new look. So that's what we're gonna be diving into today. I've also got a free PDF download for you all about Lightroom hotkeys. So these are the keyboard shortcuts that are gonna make your workflow in Lightroom so much quicker. So do make sure you check out out the link in the description and get your free copy of that hotkeys guide now and let's jump in to color grading okay so we're going to start off by looking at this very nice food photo <laughs> no, i'm just kidding this is just a very good way to illustrate to you how color grading works because i think a lot of people are just not quite sure what it does okay so we've got this image here which goes from 100 percent black to 100 percent white in an even gradient so if you have a look at the histogram you can see that we've got a really even spread of all the tones so on the right we've got the highlights in the middle we've got the mid-tones and on the left we've got the shadows so if we come over to the color grading panel there's a few different ways that you can look at it and use it really depending on your preference of how to work it doesn't change the functionality of it but it's just different ways so if we have this three circles toggled on then we get a color wheel for each of the mid-tones the shadows and the highlights or you can click on see each one one at a time with the shadows the mid-tones and the highlights or you can do the global wheel which will adjust everything in the same way so i'm going to leave it on the one where you can see all three at the same time just to make it really easy for us to see what we're doing the way the color wheels work is with the circle in the middle this is is at zero color so the color wheel itself is going to adjust the hue and the saturation of a color that you want to add only to that area of the photo so on the highlights wheel you're going to tell Lightroom what color you want to add only to the highlights so the further away you are from the middle the higher the saturation is and the closer to the middle the lower the saturation so let me show you how that works by adding some red so I'm going to drag this wheel to the right and if you have a look it's going to add red to the highlights half of the image and the closer towards the middle the less saturated that red gets so let's leave that on 100 percent saturation at the moment now underneath we also have a third slider and this is for luminance so this is how bright you want that red to be so if i drag it to the right that red is going to get brighter and if i drag it to the left the red is going to get darker i'm just going to leave that in the middle for now by double clicking there we go okay so next let's have a look at the shadow so this works in exactly the same way and let's add some green so let's just add 100 percent green and then as you can see that has added green to the shadow tones of the image and then lastly let's add blue to the mid tones so again we're just going to add 100 percent blue to make it really clear so now you can see on our image we've got red added to the highlights we've got blue added to the mid tones and we've got green added to the shadows. So I hope that that helps you visualize how Lightroom is deciding what colors to add to what tones in your image. So this is what makes color grading a bit different to the hue, saturation, and luminance panel because the hue, saturation, and luminance targets colors in your photo. So you can tell Lightroom to change the hue of a red or the saturation of a red, and it's gonna target all of the red tones in your photo but the color grading is really going to target highlights midtones and shadows so it's just a different way of adding color to your images so the last thing that we need to look at for this panel in terms of functionality is the blending and the balance sliders so the blending is going to determine how sharp the gradient between the highlights the midtones and the shadows is so if i move it to the left you can see that those gradients get a little bit sharper so there's less of a transition between the red the blue and the green whereas if i move it all the way to the right that transition gets very very blurred almost to the point that the highlights and the shadows are overlapping and kind of covering up the blue in the mid-tone so i'm just actually going to leave this on 50 i think that's quite a nice balance so then the balance slider is about how lightroom interprets your photo so 
this image that I've got here is a very even spread between 100% white and 100% black and it's a completely even gradient for everything in between. But you may have an image where you want Lightroom to consider more of your photo highlight than midtone or shadow. So in that case, if I move the slider to the right, you can see that that red is increasing because I'm telling Lightroom, you know what, I want you to consider two thirds of this photo to be highlight so that when I make an adjustment to the highlight wheel, it's gonna apply that color to more of the tones in the photo than just the ones that it thinks are highlights. Likewise, if I move it to the left, it's gonna increase the amount of tones that Lightroom is gonna consider to be shadow. So again, for this example, I'm just gonna leave it in the middle but this is how you can really customize this panel and have it work for you. Okay so now we've kind of looked at the technical side of how the color grading panel works let's jump in to a couple of examples and then I'm going to show you a quick trick to get a vintage film look in your photos really easily. Let's take a look at this image. This image is already very colorful, but it is lacking a little bit of color for me in certain areas. So the background that I shot this on is actually a really bright, like minty green. It's really unusual and I really, really liked it. But to get the lighting bright in the photo for the salad bowls, it washed out some of that color. So I wanna inject a bit of that back in, but I don't wanna apply that green to all of the green in the photo because I don't want it to affect the salad too much. So if we come over to the color grading panel, because the background is very light compared to the salad, if I inject a bit of green into the highlights, it's really just gonna apply that to the background and not to the salad. Obviously this is going to be different for every image so you are going to have to play around with what works for your photo. I'm just going to go ahead and add a bit of green. Normally when I'm using this I don't have the circle going too far away from the middle. I want it to be subtle and look natural. I don't want to be injecting huge amounts of color to the point that things look unnatural. Like if I put this all the way up it kind of gives this green cast that I don't really want. So I'm just gonna keep it somewhere around here. And then if I turn that off and on, you'll see the difference is subtle, but it is there. And I think I actually want it to be a little bit more of a cool toned green. So if I pull it round to the blue side of the green rather than the yellow side, it's gonna really enhance that sort of blue minty greenness of the background. Yes, that looks much better. Overall, I like the background, but I think I need to inject a little bit of warmth back into the food, which is largely in the mid-tones. So what I'm gonna do is just add the smallest amount of orange into the mid-tones. And then let's play around and see, do we want it? think just a little, increase that luminance a little bit, maybe even just a little bit more. Yep, and then so we can turn that off and on. We can see that's just brought that warmth back into the food. And then in the shadows under here, I really wanna enhance the depth of the blue in the backdrop. So I'm gonna inject a little bit of blue into the shadows. Not too much because I, I don't really want it to be noticeably blue, but I definitely want the shadows to be cool. So there we go. So let's just have one final look, a before and an after color grading. So we haven't really done anything major. We've just enhanced the colors that are already there, but you can use color grading a little bit more creatively. So let's have a look at a little trick I like to use to give a kind of vintage filmic look to an image. So let's take a look at this really dark and moody Guinness cake that I shot a while ago. I wanted this image to have a really kind of rustic, vintage old feel. The, the cake stand that I used has got a nice amount of patina on it. So let's go ahead and add a bit of grading. So the trick I like to use for this is to actually use another image that already has that kind of vintage filmy vibe that I'm going for in my photo and then color pick 
the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows to apply to my photo. So to do this, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the reference box here. So it allows us to put a different image next to the one that we're editing in Lightroom. And then I'm gonna drag in this photo, which I downloaded from Unsplash. Unsplash is a free online stock photo library. So it's really handy if you just like need a photo for something or you need a placeholder image or something like that. So what you wanna do when you're picking a photo to do this with is make sure that the overall tone is quite similar to the photo that you are editing because some vintage looks are a little bit more on the green side or the blue side. This photo is very warm and yellow, so I wanted that kind of warm golden yellow film look. For this, we need to go to the individual color wheel. So let's start with the shadows, which is this black wheel in the middle. And then we're just gonna click on this little square here and then press and hold the color dropper while we drag it across to our sample image. And then I'm gonna pick an area of the image that falls into that shadow. And just drag it around until it's got a look that I like and then let it go. And it's gonna apply that color to my shadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the mid-tone. So that's that middle gray square. Press and hold the color dropper and come over to more of a mid-tone of maybe somewhere around, maybe around here. And let's go there. And then we're gonna tweak it afterwards anyway. And then I'm gonna take the highlights and I'm gonna to come to this really bright section here in the middle. Okay, so let's just go back to the mid-tones and maybe we wanna pick one that's more in this sort of bluey range. And just sort of have a play around until until you get something that you like. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back to the view with all three and just make a few adjustments. So for me, the mid-tones are a little bit too saturated, so I'm gonna pull that circle back towards the middle just to pull out some of the color from the mid-tones. And I'm also gonna move it around, oops, to the green just a little bit. And then in the highlights, I'm happy with those and the shadows, let's just pull a little bit of that color out. It's just a little bit too intense. There we go. So let's close our reference photo by clicking D. And then here, if we turn off the color grading, you can see our before and then with the color grading is our after. So we've just got a little bit more of that kind of vintage filmy look. So there we have a little tutorial on how to use the color grading panel in Lightroom. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to download your free Lightroom hotkeys guide to really speed up your Lightroom workflow. And if you wanna go really in depth into Lightroom for food photographers, then do check out Food Photography Academy where I've got an entire e-course all about Lightroom Classic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.